you yourself have been an uh, investment banker in New York City uh, for quite a number of years. Um, how is uh, investing going to change? Uh, how is investing changing right now? Uh, and what is, what is it going to look like in like, let's say five to 10 years time? That's a difficult one uh, to clarify. I'm not an investor. I've never invested money. I was in investment banking, mm -hmm. uh, but I have never managed money and I, I don't do so now. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that in the last few years, since the financial crisis of 2008, many of the big hedge fund, big wigs and other big investors have had huge losses and really bad years because um, finance has been disrupted by more and more uh, human uh, interaction, like central bankers and politicians, and everybody's kind of meddled in the system to keep it from collapsing. And of course, human decisions are hard to anticipate. And I think a lot more has happened in that space than investors originally thought was possible. And so they mispriced a lot of risks, specifically also with regard to the Europe, even with Lehman, many thought, oh, Lehman is going to be rescued, and then it wasn't rescued. And then, you know, uh, rescue packages wouldn't be, or central banks wouldn't do as much, wouldn't create as much liquidity, or Europe wouldn't stick together and rescue the system in 2010. So I think that realization has created a lot of uncertainty. I think that's probably the key word. I think um, you know, risk you can price and calculate, uncertainty you can't. And I think we've entered the territory of uncertainty. We see a lot of active managers are doing less well than um, passive investors. And uh, those who are big are getting bigger, like BlackRock, for instance, or even Blackstone. Uh, these types of investment firms, we have um, automatic trading electronic trading. We do have an interesting phenomenon in the United States where a lot of private investors coming in through Robin Hood have really made an impact on market developments, which people probably didn't think was possible, but because of COVID, everybody sat home and then guys couldn't go to sports events and then they got a lot of money from the government. So I think that was just something to do while they were sitting at home. And then there are some, some social media gurus who give tips and you know, influencers, also a relatively new phenomenon, who these guys all followed. So this has created a lot of um, investment activity, which has impacted the market. Where is it going to go? I have no idea. I think we're overdue for a market correction. But as long as central banks pump money into the market, there are just not very many alternatives. Mm -hmm.